The AH-1 Cobra is a single and twin-engine attack helicopter manufactured by Bell Helicopter. It is one of the pioneers of its kind and its models are still used by many armies in the world today. It is one of the rare combat helicopters that packs high performance and firepower into a small body. AH-1 helicopters were the backbone of the U.S. Army's attack helicopter fleet, but the Army replaced them with newly acquired AH-64 Apaches. Despite this, the AH-1 helicopter continues to be used by other nations and armies, especially South Korea, Israel, Iran, Japan, Pakistan, Taiwan and Turkey. In addition, twin-engine versions continue to be used as the main attack helicopter in the U.S. Marine Corps. Some surplus AH-1 helicopters were also converted into firefighting helicopters. The U.S. decided to produce models for transportation purposes, thinking that the way to win the Vietnam War was through helicopters. For this purpose, some transportation helicopters were produced by considering their civilian counterparts. However, these early examples were quite vulnerable to enemy effects, except for the defense provided by the machine guns mounted on the door. Jet planes could go to the aid of helicopters in case of an emergency, but this was often not enough. In addition, it was very difficult for jet-powered aircraft to accompany slow-flying vehicles such as helicopters due to their stall speed. Bell had been producing helicopters since 1950, and the UH-1 they produced was widely used in the U.S. Army. The new combat helicopter designed had to be small, light, high-performance and have a thin body. Keeping the body thin would reduce the possibility of the helicopter being hit. With the extension of the Vietnam War, more helicopters were needed. The Lockheed R-56 Chain helicopter, which was planned to be used in this war, had shortcomings and was very bulky. Therefore, it was decided to use AH-1s. AH-1s soon proved to be indispensable. The firepower of the AH-1s at that time, it consisted of a 20mm triple-barreled automatic cannon under the nose, tow anti-tank missiles and hydro rockets. With the arrival of the AH-64 Apaches, almost all of the AH-1s, which were the backbone of the U.S. Army fleet in the past, were replaced with Apaches. Currently, only the U.S. Marine Corps U.S. Air Cavalry Battalion uses the AH-1. Other AH-1s and UH-1s were allocated to the National Guard. The elimination of the AH-1s was not well received by the soldiers. Although it had more extensive electronic equipment, the AH-64 did not have the speed and maneuverability of the AH-1s. For this reason, the U.S. Marine Corps uses the AH-1W Super Cobra helicopters and a higher model, the AH-1Z Viper Cobra, is also being developed. The Super Cobra has a more powerful engine and newer electronic equipment than the normal AH-1. In addition, Super Cobras can be mounted with AGM-9 Sidewinder, Sidewinder air-to-air missiles and Hellfire, Hellfire missiles.